marvel of human flight has created a lot of excitement and opened the doors to endless possibilities for military purposes. From the first planes that took to the skies to planes exceeding 1,522 miles per hour to cover massive distances in minutes, these aircraft have broken barriers that were once thought impossible. They not only compete in speed and altitude, but also onboard perfection. These fascinating planes can fly at three miles above ground, pushing the throttle backward as the engine accelerates you to speeds unseen by any other life form, packed with cutting edge features. Assessing their high tech wonders, capabilities, and military prowess, let's explore the marvels of these supersonic aircraft in a thrilling journey that puts them in a head to head matchup against one another. Which one of these is the most fearsome? Join us as we reveal the ranking of the most successful fighter aircraft in the world, Boeing F-A-18E-F Super Hornet. An American carrier-based fighter bomber and attack aircraft are considered a deep reworking of the F-A-18 fighter. It peaks at a maximum speed of 1,189 miles per hour. The Super Hornet is pretty much a new aircraft. The wingspan is 20 greater, the empty weight is 7,054 pounds, and the maximum takeoff weight is 14,991 pounds more than the original model. In terms of fuel capacity, the new aircraft surpasses the Hornet by 33%, which made it possible to increase the combat radius by 41 and the flight duration by 50. In terms of empty weight, the Super Hornet is about five tons lighter than the F-14 Tomcat fighter, while at the same time, in terms of payload mass and flight range, the Super Hornet approaches the F-14, although it does not exceed its predecessor. F-16 Fighting Falcon An American multi-purpose light fighter of the fourth generation. It has its maximum speed at 1,317 miles per hour at an altitude of 40,026 feet. The F-16 is a monoplane with a wing and one engine in the aft fuselage. The structure is 78.3% made of aluminum alloys, 4.2% titanium alloys, 4.2% carbon fiber, and 3.7% steel. To ensure ease of operation, the aircraft has 228 hatches and removable panels. The engine has a ventral air intake and the cab is equipped with a regenerative air conditioning and pressurization system. The McDonnell Douglas ASUS-2 ejection seat provides aircraft ejection while parked and in flight at a speed of 683 miles per hour at altitudes up to 49,212 feet. The aircraft control system is by wire with fourfold redundancy. Su-30 the Russian double multi-role fighter is a four-plus generation designed for air superiority, capping at a maximum speed of 1,317 miles per hour. The Su-30 is designed to destroy air targets day and night in simple and difficult meteorological conditions, as well as against the background of the Earth when using active and passive jamming. Airspace control, blocking enemy airfields at great depths, and actions on land and sea targets. The Su-30 can also be used to control group combat operations and gain air superiority, destroy enemy airborne assault forces, as well as conduct aerial reconnaissance, and destroy ground targets in simple and difficult meteorological conditions. Small arms and cannon armament include an automatic rapid-firing single-barreled cannon of 30mm caliber with 150 rounds of ammunition. The aircraft can carry up to six medium-range air-to-air missiles. The total mass of the combat load is 8,818 pounds. Saab JS-39 Gripen The Saab JS-39 Gripen is a Swedish multi-role fighter of the fourth generation that flies at a maximum speed of 1,367 miles per hour at high altitude. The first Gripens had a very limited arsenal of air-to-air -air weapons and could only use AIM-9L short-range missiles. But in 1999, the 120 medium-range missiles were integrated into the JAS-39, which gave the aircraft the ability to destroy air targets beyond visual range. Gripen is a multi-purpose aircraft. Therefore, 
In addition to conventional aerial bombs and blocks with unguided aerial missiles, it can carry precision weapons to engage ground and surface targets. One such weapon is the AGM-65 Maverick short-range air-to-surface missile, which is used to destroy tactical targets such as armored vehicles, vehicles, air defense facilities, and small ships. F-22 Raptor A fifth-generation multi-role fighter developed by Lockheed Martin, Boeing, and General Dynamics to combat enemy aircraft, cover troops, and rear targets from airstrikes and counter enemy air reconnaissance day and night in simple and difficult weather conditions. The F-22 is the first fifth generation fighter in service with a maximum speed of 1,499 miles per hour. Armament includes a 20 mm M61 A2 Vulcan cannon with 480 rounds, air to air missiles, six AIM-120C AMRAM, two AIM-9M Sidewinder, and JDAM corrected bombs. The F-22 is compatible with the GBU-39 and SDB-53B precision guided bombs. The fighter is capable of launching missiles and dropping bombs from internal compartments at supersonic speeds. Su-57 This is another Russian multifunctional fighter, but of the fifth generation. It has a maximum speed of 1,516 miles per hour. The aircraft was designed to replace the Su-27 heavy fighter in the Russian Air Force. Most of the information about the Su-57 is classified for this reason. Only the approximate characteristics of the aircraft are known. In terms of wingspan and length, the Su-57 is larger than the F-22, but less than the Su-27. By weight, it probably belongs, like the Su-27, to the class of heavy fighters. The aircraft fully meets all the requirements for a fifth-generation fighter. It is inconspicuous, has a supersonic cruising speed, is capable of maneuvering with high G-forces, is equipped with advanced electronics, and is multifunctional. The Su-57 has the ability to control its artificial intelligence or operator in unmanned mode at long distances from the base. This removes the physiological limitations on speed, and maneuver overloads will cease to play a role in combat tactics. The fighter is capable of performing tasks and integration with the latest UAV hunter. When interacting with a fifth-generation fighter jet, the stealth strike drone can become a breakthrough in the field of combat use of fighter aircraft. This opens up a huge scope for effective interaction between the pilot and the combat robot. Eurofighter Typhoon this fighter jet is a multi-purpose fighter of the fourth generation, and serial production is currently underway. The aircraft was put into service with the air forces of Germany, Italy, Spain, Great Britain, Austria, and Saudi Arabia. It flies at a top speed of 1,150 miles per hour. According to an intergovernmental agreement of four states, Great Britain, Germany, Italy, and Spain undertook to participate in the joint development and subsequent manufacture of a new generation engine for the Eurofighter fighter. The modular engine's average dismantling time is 45 minutes, and the characteristics of the engine provide the Eurofighter with the ability to cruise supersonic flight without switching on afterburner. The Eurofighter company claims that the aircraft is capable of cruising supersonic flight without turning on the afterburner mode of the engines at a speed of 600 kilometers an hour, but tests carried out in Singapore showed that in hot weather, the maximum non-afterburner speed with a combat load is 798 miles per hour. Su-35 The Su-35 is a Russian multi-purpose supermaneuverable fighter with thrust vector control of Generation 4++. The aircraft has a top speed of 1,726 miles per hour. The Su-35 fighter is a deep modernization of the Su-27. It has a largely new reinforced airframe. Unlike the old Su-27M, it does not have a front horizontal tail and a brake flap. Braking during landing is carried out by deviating the rudders from the longitudinal axis. The Su-35 has the IUS-35 information management system. The aircraft is equipped with electronic warfare equipment and can also be equipped with group electronic protection stations. 
The cockpit is equipped with three multi-screen displays and a holographic indicator on the windshield. The aircraft is equipped with the L-1535 radiation warning system for extra protection. Sukhoi Su-27 Flanker The Sukhoi Su-27 flanker stands as a testament to Soviet engineering excellence and innovation. With a top speed of 1,788 miles per hour, it pushes the boundaries of craftsmanship from the USSR era. Equipped with a twin-engine configuration, it boasts the distinction of being the first Russian jet with a fly-by-wire control system, showcasing advancements that were ahead of its time. Designed primarily for air superiority, the Su-27 was crafted to counter the capabilities of new American 3.7-gen fighters, such as the F-15 Eagle. Armed with a formidable 30mm gun and 10 external pylons, this fighter has the versatility to carry a range of air-to-air -air heat seeking short and medium range missiles. Its combat capabilities have earned it a reputation as a formidable adversary in aerial engagements. Beyond its impressive performance in the skies, the Su-27's legacy is further solidified by its various accomplishments and enduring popularity. With numerous variants evolving over the years, some of which remain modern even today, the flanker continues to demonstrate its adaptability and effectiveness, 43 years after its inaugural flight in 1977. The Su-27 flanker truly stands as a symbol of enduring excellence in the world of military aviation. McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle The F-15, a fourth-generation American all-weather fighter, is meticulously designed for air superiority, reaching an impressive maximum speed of 1,872 miles per hour. Notably, the aircraft's structural resilience is demonstrated by its ability to withstand the impact of a 20-millimeter high-explosive fragmentation projectile without resulting in the loss of the aircraft. Fuel distribution on the F-15 is strategically organized among six tanks. Four are in the fuselage and two are in the wings. The fuselage tanks, prioritized for their soft nature, are produced before the caisson-like wing tanks. Autonomous power systems for engines, complete with individual supply tanks and a ringing system, contribute to the aircraft's self-sufficiency. Additionally, most of the fuel lines are situated within the tanks, enhancing overall efficiency. To ensure safety, consumable tanks are shielded by protectors capable of withstanding bullets up to 12.7 millimeters in caliber, minimizing the risk of explosion. For an added layer of protection, all fuel tanks are filled with polyurethane foam, showcasing a comprehensive commitment to safety measures in the design and operation of the F-15. General Dynamics F-111 Aardvark the General Dynamics F-111 Aardvark, distinguished as a tactical bomber rather than a fighter, showcased its prowess with a top speed of 1,902 miles per hour. Prior to its retirement in 1998, this formidable aircraft boasted nine hardpoints and two weapon bays. Its versatility extended to delivering a substantial payload of 31,526 pounds, comprising various options such as nuclear bombs, air-to-air -air missiles, or a 2,000-round machine gun. Remarkably, the Aardvark held the distinction of being the first aircraft in production, featuring a variable sweep wing configuration. This innovative design led to testing for carrier-based operations, although this endeavor remained incomplete. Despite encountering challenges, there were instances of successful trials, underlining Aardvark's pioneering role in aviation technology and its adaptability for diverse mission profiles. McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle The F-15 has been claimed to be one of the most successful aircraft ever built and is still in service with the U.S. Air Force. It was introduced in 1976 and will continue to be a part of the Air Force beyond 2025. Almost 1,200 F-15s have been built and they have been exported to, among others, Japan, Saudi Arabia, and Israel. These aircraft were produced until 2019. It was first designed as an air superiority aircraft, 
But later, the F-15E Strike Eagle was built, an air-to-ground derivative. The F-15 can load a variety of Sparrow, Sidewinder, 120 MRM, drop bombs for instance, Mark 84 or 82, or external fuel tanks on its 11 hardpoints. Together with its 20mm M6101 Vulcan gun, it is no surprise that this buster has over a hundred confirmed aerial combat victories. Mikoyan MiG-31 Foxbat This jet has a mind-blowing top speed of 2,153 miles per hour. Also, this one was once available for tourist flights due to its enormous twin engine with a thrust of 2 by 152 kilo newton. It was able to fly at supersonic speeds at both high and low altitudes. It is a Soviet interceptor built to take out enemy aircraft and has great capabilities to do so using a combination of active and passive radars. Four foxhounds can together control a front of 559 miles in length. The weapons that it has at its disposal are one 23mm gun with 260 rounds under the fuselage, four R-33 air-to-air -air heavy, or six R-37 air-to-air missiles on pylons, long or medium-range missiles, short-range IR missiles, or a special medium-range air-to-air missile for high-speed targets. The production ended in 1994, but it is unknown exactly how many MiG-31s were built. Between 400 and 500 is said to be a qualified guess. The MiG-31 is still in service with the Russian and Kazakhstani air forces today. Bell X-2 Starbuster The Starbuster, a remarkable American research aircraft, took to the skies for its inaugural flight in 1955 and gracefully concluded its service in 1956. It marked a continuation of the X-2 program, focusing on investigating the behavior of aircraft at speeds surpassing 1,522 miles per hour. Strikingly, the Starbuster was not armed, featuring a back-swept wing that minimized air resistance, enabling it to reach an astounding speed of 2,432 miles per hour in 1956. However, the triumph of this speed milestone was accompanied by tragedy. Shortly after reaching this remarkable velocity, pilot Milburn G. Apt executed a sharp turn, leading to the aircraft tumbling out of control. Regaining command proved impossible, and Apt had to bail out. Tragically, the escape attempt was hindered as only the small parachute of the escape shuttle opened, resulting in a high-speed impact upon hitting the ground. This fatal crash brought a premature end to the Starbuster program, leaving behind a legacy of ambitious exploration and the perils inherent in pushing the boundaries of aeronautical capabilities. McCoyan MiG-25 Foxbat this jet was a Soviet machine built to intercept American aircraft during the Cold War, like the SR-71 and high, slow-flying surveillance aircraft. Since it was built to intercept the SR-71, it was required to have an extreme speed, hence its 2,435 miles per hour top capability. The Foxbat, unlike the Blackbird, featured four air-to-air -air missiles, which made it an interceptor rather than a reconnaissance aircraft, it has never shot down a Blackbird, but it has had many other combat missions that have been successful, for instance, in the Iran-Iraq War. Over 1,100 Foxbats were built between 1964 and 1984. However, today, the use is limited, with its only users being Russia, Syria, Algeria, and Turkmenistan. Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird the Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird, introduced in 1966, has left an indelible mark on aviation history. Serving both the United States Air Force, USAF, and NASA, only 32 of these iconic aircraft were ever built, exclusively for reconnaissance and experimental research purposes. Notably, the SR-71 featured state-of-the-art stealth technology. Its phenomenal speed of 2,192 miles per hour rendered it nearly invincible in the face of potential threats. Even if detected by enemy forces, the Blackbird could effortlessly outrun interceptors or surface-to-air missiles. The sheer velocity of the aircraft created a unique phenomenon. 
The air in front of it couldn't escape in time, resulting in immense pressure and soaring temperatures, reaching several hundred degrees. This extreme environment expanded the metal structure, necessitating the aircraft to be built in two small pieces. Consequently, the SR-71 had a distinctive quirk. It leaked oil when stationary. Despite such peculiarities, the Blackbird's unparalleled speed and technological advancements solidify its legacy as an iconic and groundbreaking aircraft in the realm of aviation. North American X-15 This aircraft has the current world record for the fastest manned aircraft. Its maximum speed was 4,443 miles per hour, which it attained on the 3rd of October 1967 thanks to its pilot, William J. Pete Knight. To be stable at these super high velocities, it had to feature a big wedge tail. However, the downside of this was at lower speeds. The drag was extremely big from such a tail. Therefore, a B-52 Stratofortress had to carry it up to an altitude of about 45,941 feet before dropping it, at which it ignited its engines. Just imagine sitting in a rocket measuring only 49 feet in length and then being dropped. It must have been a truly magnificent feeling. The X-15 was used at such extreme speeds that it did not use traditional ways to steer using drag over fin. Instead, it used rocket thrusters. This made it possible to reach altitudes higher than 62 miles, which was one of its world records. These are the three records that brought the X-15 rocket jet into the history books. It was the first operational space plane. It got to a height of more than 62 miles, and it flew more than six times the speed of sound, 5,099 miles per hour. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click on the link appearing on your screen to watch another of our interesting videos. See you there.